So by mercy of Gurudev, Guranga, all the Vaishnavas, we will uh, we will try to dive in more in verse 68, which has been following us since uh, I think two two Saturday sharings, and um, actually I even don't know where we ended last time, but uh, we'll find it. Yeah. We hope that we never complete. Should we start with it? Ha Rupa Manjari Shaki Pranayena Devim Twat Bahu Data Bhuja Valrim Ayatakshim Paschat Aham Kalita Kama Taranga Rangam Nishaimi Kim Hari Vibushita Keli Kunjam Oh, my dear friend, Rupa Manjari, when can I walk behind you when you lovingly take wide-eyed goddess Radhika, who is immersed in waves of desire, to the play grove that is decorated by Sri Hari, as she holds her wine like arm with yours. <laughs> so, in the previous Saturdays, we have been uh, contemplating and sharing a lot about this verse itself. And the beautiful uh, at prayer of Tulsi to her dear friend Rupa Manjari as she's walking behind and witnessing how Radhika is walking to the Kunja to meet Mohan, who has decorated it himself, and Rupa is holding her wine-like arm with Swaminis. This is the setting of this verse, of this um, vision Sri Raghunath Swami has in his Siddhadeya and his Swarup. And I think we we were discussing the the mood and the pastimes which the divine couple experiences in Braja. And I think we we kind of came to this line that the touch of Swaminiji's love has kept Mohan so sweet all this time. Although in Braja, this could not be grasped. Now Mohan Krishna took her mood and luster to become Gora. He revealed the greatness of her causeless compassion to everyone. <coughs> Sorry. What is the meaning of costless compassion here? Gurudev. Why she's costless and Krishna has a cost? So, first something I got it. Yes. That is costless. I no do anything. Why she give me, I don't know. No sukriti, no good quality in my life. Nothing happened good thing in my life. But she want to give me. She want to show me. I never study anything, but she want to open my heart to understand that. Hmm? 
when it happened when we come in our sarupa way mahajan gata sapanta rati is telling in my sarupa way we want to follow rupa only to follow rupa <laughs> is only can happen in sarupa ways is in independent nature nobody follow anyone in sadak they have physical body we think that we follow someone is not is all false because only can be possible in sarupa when we are in sarupa ways then we follow that parampara to inherit from my father and great father, grandfather this heritage is only happening when we follow that way of life right on so through the causeless mercy i can only understand if i am practicing my soul it's not i am so independent i think i am so marginal ping pong and so condition and krishna because krishna is very independent my soul also is part and parcel of that so my soul is also very independent why to follow something without sarupam then i don't believe in mercy no then we not this mercy happened to me राधे राधे ऑफन we often define false ego as meaning we think we are this body but there's another way we can define false ego too it's believing that everything has a cause that i can be a cause and that the object of the actions of others is me so leaving false ego is entering into causeless mercy to understanding that there is no cause there is only flow more details i know understand false ego means thinking that i'm the cause i'm the doer i'm the doer thank you yes to leave false ego behind us is to understand that everything is mercy is the false ego that the question i don't want to leave my false ego i don't want to lose what i have why i lose why i lose something i got my body i got my senses i got the pride of that i am something why i want to lose this how to how to come out from this that is the question we we don't want to lose we the problem is we have to keep working keep doing keep acting to keep the what we have false ego na in false ego yes good liberation from false ego is to understand that all is mercy 
that there's nothing to be done, only to be seen, only to observe. Not clear, you have to more clear. My English is not very good. I want to clear it. How to liberate with this? How to free from this? Say me the way. In false ego, we must always keep acting in order to keep what we have. We must keep earning money, we must keep giving away things to get things back. When everything is material, we can only keep it when we keep acting, when we keep believing that we are the cause of what we have. Liberation from this means understanding that we are not the cause, that what is true but and real and you beautiful. Would not for the liberation. Hmm? What you are talking? Devotee never. Devotee means no liberation. Why should they pray? I mean, liberating from false ego, I mean. Managuna's liberation. Yes. This happens when we understand that what comes to us of truth and beauty comes to us by mercy and not by what we do, not by what we cause. It's not clear to me. I'm, I'm surely mistaken, Gurudev. Sorry. Uh, no, explain no, it. No, no, yeah, if, I, if I can come uh, for, for a second in to your side, and, and maybe we can uh, look at it that uh, what is the human goal of life, right? You were saying there are the this goal of making money, of working, so uh, all the four goals, no? Kama, Artha, Dharma, Moksha, right? So we get, we get kind of lost in this, but if we understand that there is a fifth goal, Gurudev, the Pancham Purushat, Prema, then there is a chance, no, for the ego to diminish. I am listen from Mahajan like this. You listen like this? Mahajan. What, what you listen, Gurudev? No, I listen that. If I'm practicing only for practicing, it's okay, good. We have to maintain our ego. But if I want to go out from this, then we have to know fifth efforts. Quintessence. Quintessence. Where I want to do, that has to decide. Mm. She is by nature the most merciful one. When I need quintessence, shift that part, mm -hmm. then I can feel her mercy. Then I can feel her mercy. Right. If not, not I will think that I, this is my effort. Is Maya very tricky? It catches so different ways we don't know. This is my effort. I do with Maya. It's a poisonous Kaliya sitting inside us. If Krishna is not dancing on the Kaliya head, it will be poisonous. And this is poison 
is inside me as a kaliya because krishna lotus feet is not on the head of the kaliya sometimes they say guru also has to take the poison of that is different issue but the poison is the snake kaliya is sitting inside inside me and dancing yeah sometimes we say there is no reason and no reason for love so in all the efforts in our life we always there's a purpose there's a goal of karma atha karma moksha i do something to achieve a goal but in the realm of love there is no other purpose than love want to express itself so many life we practice something is not karma i i i can be free in this life so many life thousands and thousands life we do only this thing nothing else and that was she said and i have no we achieve that we have a human body and we have a vaishnava association why not achieve some previous sanskar i think but we are all in the practice of the uh, gunas and we don't want to do it we have a conditions why condition because we are in gunas we don't want to go out of this gunas i see myself when i check this and i see that the devotees this feel this and i see they hold the condition they want to maintain this condition what is condition means i am in gunas i calculate everything i don't want to go out of the calculus so many life you cannot imagine how i can live this without mercy so that causeless mercy without reason this mercy is coming this time in our life that we can stay in the love to feel it but our guna is so powerful we don't want to accept our causeless mercy we want to hold it this is my condition i don't know you all are elevated but i see this this is my kaliya sitting inside me and on the protein poison too guna is kaliya and the queen of kaliya is praying to the krishna please deliberate me we will not do the same mistake again you give me this poison what i can give out but if you dance on my head then my this poison can be finished if the moment i will forget you my poison will come again moment i will not see your you are dancing on my head just again i will be poison who makes krishna dance for eh? who makes the queens 
pray and they are praying. So it's not causeless here. It was conditioned that you will not give the poison again. But they put condition to Krishna that the moment you will not dance on my head again, I will put the poison. The moment I will forget you, and again, poison has to come. You cannot stop me because you give me poison. And Krishna said, Okay, I will dance. He danced. And when I got, need mercy, he is dancing. If I forget him, that he is not on my head. Again, that he has left it. So we have to meditate on the dancing Krishna. Always meditate in Krishna. In your soul consciousness. Then you are free from gunas. Who will meditate in Krishna without soul consciousness? Body cannot marry, ready to meditate. My senses, not gunas, not ready to meditate. They are ready to meditate. Dharma, I become more religious. Artha, Tama, Only this thing we will meditate because of gunas. Soul is come without gunas. So he can meditate. But who's Krishna? Gopi Janavala? That is different. <laughs> How you see Krishna? If you want to know Krishna as a God, Krishna's Radhika's Krishna. Without coming Vrindavan, you will never know Radhika's Krishna. Why Prabhupada says, come Vrindavan. To know Radhika's Krishna, you say, out of Vrindavan, even in Mata or Delhi, everybody knows Krishna, don't believe Krishna. And if they believe, he's a supreme personality of God. Not more than that. And you cannot tell to them that he is Radhika's Krishna. They will not agree with that. Mm. Only but then it's higher, it is God, it's just like the God, it's God. We need God. Huh? However, like, we God. need the God. Yeah. Because I have many desires. And God can fulfill that desire. I often hear outside of Vrindavan people say Jaya Shri Krishna. <laughs> you are very happy that you listen this in Vrindavan. Causeless <laughs> mercy. Yes. Vrindavan Hani Krishna is Radhika's Krishna. Radha Raman, I'm making one board for Radha Mohan. I see many temples, Bihariji temple, Radha Raman temple, Radha Mahan, Radha Raman Jika Mandal. Means this is G. Sri Radha Raman G. Okay, he said, God. Mm -hmm. 
Even the Krishna is waiting for the causeless mercy of God. This is the truth. She is the Prima Guru. All, all this literature is, is mentioned that object is Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> Object goal is fixed. But Vrindavan, what is the object? Say God <laughs> No, I want to say something else. When we read this verse, Gurudev in the beginning, and he says, no? Rupa Nuga, and it's only possible in Swaru. If we want Rupa to. Rupa Nuga, no. Sorry, I say, if to follow, to follow to your Guru, follow to the Rati Manjari, to Rupa Manjari. Rati is for knowing to Rupa. Right? Yes. I was not done with my explanation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, please, Guru Dev. No, no. no. Please, please, please. Oh, yeah. If we want to understand what is the meaning of Rupa Nuga, this verse say everything. I see how Rupa Manjari is serving Radharani and Tulasi Manjari is walking behind her. Meaning, how to become Rupa Nuga means I am following through Tulasi Manjari because she is following Rupa. And that it can only be done in Swarup. Clearly, it's not Raghunatha Goswami running behind Rupa. It's not Rupa Goswami walking next to Radhika. Yeah, yeah. This verse clearly states that. And also, the mood is there. It's the passion of love. Radharani is full of desires. And it's also clearly to see that she controls Krishna by the power of her Mahabhat because he is waiting in the Kunja, he decorated the Kunja to receive her causeless mercy as Guru So, and it's also clearly to see what is the meaning of Gorya. If you want to know about Gorya, Vaishnava, and Rupa Nuga, then this verse says everything. Whom to follow, what is the mood? Yeah, just came in my mind that this verse says everything. Like we had this. Um uh, I think not maybe the, the first time we were reading this verse together. It contains the Sambandha, the Abhideya, and the Prayoja. Also, the relation between Radharani and Samantha is yeah. she is holding also closely to her. They have an intimate relationship. Yes, yes. Very near. But, yeah, what was your thought? 
Sambam Abhideya Tarayyoda. Very beautiful. She is by nature the most merciful one. In the summertime, when the sun was fiercely shining, Srila Raguna Das was meditating in an open place on the banks of Shampunda. All merciful Swamini then came to shade him with her own veil, catching the full force of the sun herself, making sweat drops appear on her face. Raghunath was not aware of anything external. Meanwhile, Sri Sanatan Goswami came to see how Raghunath was doing and seeing what was going on. He disturbed him and said, Raghunath, whom are you meditating upon? Raghunath Das said, on Swami Niji, Sanatan then said, Are you looking for she who stands behind you to shade you from the sun? Hearing this, Raghunath Das had understood what had happened and he began to cry loudly. Here both are there, I'm seeing his Radharani who comes and puts her veil and protects Raghunath from the sun, but also Sanatan appears and immediately instructs Raghunath what to do. So maybe Goranga Sundar, Janandaji or Suniti Goravani, like what 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 is the feeling here that one we are seeing Swamini is who is seeing Swamini behind Raghunathas? It's Sanatan. Raghunath is not aware of Swamini standing behind and protecting him, but Sanatan can see the entire thing and immediately instruct Raghunath. If, if there is any feeling to it, to share, or? I only think that Sanatam Goswami give chance to others. Goranga, I see only you right now. Uh, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Yes, this is very nice scene, actually, where Raghunath is like a Premika devotee. He is completely unaware of any external things, even about his own existence. He is completely absorbed in his own Swarup while serving directly Swamini. So this is the position of Premika devotee, first of all, who is not under the gunas. And someone who is under the gunas, if he is meditating, his meditation is full of attachment for Swamini in this case, and also identification of spiritual, own spiritual identity. And from that kind of meditation, heart becomes so pure that gunas are not affecting the heart. And devotee clearly see, I am and you are mine. Because of this strong, intense love, 
he is not aware about external things. And only causeless mercy, causeless kripa, can bring the person on a such level. So, Raghunath is, through his own living example, is showing us what does it mean to be under the gunas, to be situated on the level of prema, even higher, but let's say level of prema. What does it mean to really be situated in staiba and also fixed in ishtadev? Then devotee is not aware about anything else from external point of view. And this stage is possible only by to attain not by sadhana, not by endeavor, but only by causeless mercy. And we can see here now Sanatana is approaching to Raghunath. He is approaching his Sadaka Vesh, Baba, Baba is saying here he is approaching in Sadaka Vesh, but because he is always, always 24 7 aware about his Swarup Siddhi, he is able to see Radharani who is protecting Tulsi Manjari or Raghunath. And what he is seeing, the sweat drops, which are coming from Radhika's face. So these sweat drops are the sign of Radhika's melting heart, melting of compassion for beloved Manjari. These drops are actually the sign of intense love and attachment of Radhika to her own Manjari. So she is holding the whale, melting out of compassion, and then Sanatana is coming and trying to correct Raghunath, what are you doing? You are allowing your Swamini to serve you. So this is the great teaching here in this instruction. I am not doing bhajan that Radhika must appear to me. I am not doing a bhajan praying to her, please appear, otherwise I will not do bhajan. Sadaka should be free from the mentality that Ishtadev is serving him. And how to be free? Under the gunas? It's not possible. It is possible to be free only when Sadaka is situated in Swarup. And in that way he doesn't have any whiff of desire that Ishtadev, whoever he is, has to fulfill his desires. But because conditioned soul is so used to have relationship with the God and always asking, 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 give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, he is practicing, Sadaka is practicing also bhajan for his own pleasure. So for that we need the purification of the heart, special kripa, not ordinary kripa, special kripa, causeless kripa, that we can purify the heart and practice bhajan without expectations. And then Raghunath, when he understood what is going on, he started to cry. We are praying 
to each other, please help me, please give me this, give me this. But from this kind of relationship, there is no crying. Crying starts from Swarup. Eagerness is coming from Swarup. Humbleness is coming from Swarup. Hope is coming from Swarup. Compassion is coming from Swarup. And so on and so on, these beautiful sublime qualities. And Raghunath is crying like, oh, again, I'm talking about Premika devotee, because when Premika devotee has a direct darshan, then he is crying. When this darshan finished, never forgetting his varup, but he is crying from his varup. He is not crying from Sadaka wish. He is crying but because he is aware, he relished what he lost. So this kind of separation full of pain is possible only for someone who is deeply situated in his spiritual identity. And like Gurudev said, I, if, if I remember properly, in the beginning of his sharing, we cannot follow from the Sadaka wish. Real following means to follow from Swarup, from spiritual identity, those personalities who are situated. In this, on this level. And in that way, heritage from the lineage will descend causelessly, completely causeless. Because when we receive heritage, even in material <laughs> platform, yeah. this is causeless. I didn't do anything I received. I got a house. I got a bank account. I got a flat. I got a car. Why? Because this is my heritage from my family lineage. The same thing is with the spiritual life. And this is all mercy. This kind of heritage is causeless mercy. And when I understand what I received, what should I do? Only crying and hankering. And greed is increasing then. And there is no whiff of Tamagun, Rajagun, even Sattvagun. Then his devotee is liberated from the false ego, false identification. That's my understanding. I sorry, I took too long. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gora Chandra Sanatana Goswami is a child of Sambandha Dhyam. He is watching how Radharani coming to serve Raguna to protect him from the sun. So Sanatana is asking, is this the relation we have with Radharani? Is she supposed to serve us or we are her dasi? Mm -hmm. This is the teaching. And when Raghunath realized that, that she came to protect him from the sun, to serve him or her, he feels embarrassed and 
very humbly he starts crying because the happiness of the manjana plays in the babula sati they are only happy when they can make her and mohan me so instead of she being together with him she came for me to protect me from this that makes ragunath cry he thinks it should be different i should have hurt me him not stopping her to meet him that she protect me that is not my sambandha my sambandha is i am her dasi i'm supposed to serve her not she is supposed to serve me yeah very right. good i see one more teaching in this i see this as an example shri raghunath das goswami is on the highest form level of bhajan but he still needs the help of guru of sanatan to help correct and instruct him so we always need guru dev to help correct and instruct us in our bhajan no always always we need to correct and that is our guru dev who can see me. Wow. Well, is Guru there also? Is Guru there also when we're in Siddha Deya? Yeah, Guru Dev is more need in Siddha Deya than Sadak Deya because Sadak Deya we have a faith, but not firm faith. Nista, firm faith. When we reach to the Siddha Deha, then it from faith comes. Sadak Deha, we have a doubtful relation. This is he, true. It may be he can be a right or wrong person. Why I will listen him? I have a something. My way. A different goal. Yes. Why I will follow him? When we come to Siddha Deya, Guru Dev, do we come together then, completely together with the parampara? Actually, Siddha Deya means to realize my saru. It's a surprising to me that so conditioned person. How I know this? So much condition. We are so much in condition. How this happened to me? And that surprise makes firm faith in Guru Dev. Without that, no firm faith. Never nishtaka. Why have firm faith? And I always think that Guru Dev is with me and he is guiding me because he gives me Siddha there. And this way, I come in my guna, but I can live in my Siddha there. Hmm. Why I will bother and seek other things? But I need always to to check my mistakes. I can marginal, independent. I can do my way something. So <coughs> what is not in heritage? I want to make some other way. Like a Raghunath Das Goswami want to start in personal way, sitting outside. I will take the heat and winter and cold like a Mayavadi too. <laughs> you say no. You have a relation. You cannot do that. 
So, the group who has a relation, they are the highest, they are the grandfathers. If I have no relation, I have to follow to develop relation. Even the Rupa Goswami is also listening to Sanatana Goswami because he relies relation first and he fixed in relation. And we pantulam in relationship. We have no relation, so still I am in Guna. Mm. And one thing, you see, Rupa Goswami, he was in Abhideha. After he, Rupa Goswami, he said, what are you doing? The girl who come to give you this milk is Radhika. Why you stop going to Madhukari? Go out and take Madhukari. This is not your sambandha that he come to give you milk from a hull hand to you. This is not a relation. So relation is the most first thing. Then Abhideha come. Without relation, so he is the guru of all because he is fixed in relation. Number one thing, with is today. Then second thing come, what? Abhideha. Body will be there, but how much you can be in your out of body transfers? That is Abhideha. Means how much you can be in your spiritual body. Hmm. How you are practicing, how much I practice to be out of my body. That is Avideha. Out of my body. I have to do something with in body and I, how much I can give the time from out of this body. So who is the Guru? Sambandha is the Guru. Hmm. Then it comes. And when Sambandha and Avijaya is there, then Raghunath is the example of Pariyojana. Hmm. When there is no relation, no Avijaya, then there is no Raghunath, no Rati. This oh, is like oh. you can come by listening of Gauranga Sundar and Gaurachandra. You see, Sambandha is the primary. Then Abhideha start practicing. Without Sambandha, no Abhideha can happen. And if Sambandha is not fixed hundred percent, then I cannot move for the Abhideha. Hmm. Then I have no idea of Pariyogyan. Time is wasted for nothing. In my Guna, we, want, uh, we have it. This is the Kaliya. He is always sitting inside us. What is not in Guna, I will not like it. First thing. And then. When I will like Samantha and I have a relation deep, then I will not bother for Gunas. I will be mad for my devotion. And when relation is intense, then I need my salute. Then we need Avijaha. I have to go out from this material. To know myself, my my spiritual sorrow that I have a two body. One is the spiritual body, 
one is guna bad hmm. when i will not judge both of them then i will not decide where to leave more i always say one line is there my guna line but if somebody said to make this line bigger bigger than this some line what you will do you have to make other bigger line side by side hmm. than this line that is a my spiritual path hmm. then it will be my guna line will be smaller and this my sarup line will be bigger it is the sadhana this has to practice inside me to me and nobody watch me if i don't want somebody watch me so who will watch who has a sambandha they can watch me and i don't want to listen anyone then what is the use of watching because i have no sambandha on the i want to play with the guna and i want to not want to make my right line bigger for spiritual line what is my sarup line then we are passing our time hmm. then we will not reach to parivarna so many how i have no time for other things to do than this it's a very deep subject <laughs> Means also we are misusing our guru this time. I am misusing, although we are not listening to them. Him, yeah. how he tolerates this is the mercy of him. Yes, I misuse my guru this time. I don't say nobody misuse me, but I misuse my guru this time. But this mercy that he is with me. and he is helping me but i don't want to miss you now if i not miss you how i become old and i don't realize it more what i have to do more hmm. how i will go in his service i am not good qualified for i have to be qualified to help in what he help me Something I have to help him also in the service. So much is happening, and I am not preparing to myself to be in the service that I can use for to him. Pira. Great. Upa Raghunatha Rahu Moraj. Hearing this, Raghunatha Das had understood what had happened, and he began to cry loudly. Don't meditate out in the open. Make yourself a cottage, so that our Swamini does not have to come and take all this trouble to protect you. Sanatan told to Raghunath, "What is the trouble? The trouble is that she cannot be with Lona. <laughs> she has only one desire." And now she cannot be there. That is Raghunatha. Then he realized. Yes. <laughs> Rasa Lila is saying that it's amazing to see how much love 
Swamini actually has for a maidservant. Wow. That she come and leave her Mohan and say, wait, I have to go. My maidservant is too much in the sun. I need to protect, right? This Rasa Leela saying this. So great. So good. Beautiful. We can leave this lover so, to, to take care of our babies. Babies. The only mother can. Mother can. Mother can. He can. He can. Mother can say some. Not, some. Some escape. Not now. Lady. Okay. Yeah. Just. Just. I have to go for important work. <laughs> but. But much to escape from his lover. <laughs> for the babies. Oh. That is to sacrifice everything. Only mother. So great mother's love. There's the Leela when uh, the Rani going on Abusa and she is so on the passion, she is so running so quick and Manjil said, Radha Rani, wait, 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 I cannot follow in your speed. And Radha Rani waiting mm. to take. Wow. Who is it? Mother. Actually, she's throwing away the ornaments, no? And Mandri is uh, trying to collect, but at the same time, she's really running. She's not stopping. We stop. So, <clears throat> Sri Raghunath has sold himself to swim in his lotus feet. He sold himself. My Swamini, I know you. You will introduce yourself to me in the company of your Priyatam. Mat Isha Nata Dve Braja Vipina Chandram Bhaja Mana Manashiksha. Oh, mind, remember that the moon of the Braja forest is the lord of my queen. First Radha, then Sham. Amara Ishwari ho Brindavan Ishwari. Tora Prananata Boli Bhaji Giridhari. My mistress is Radha, the queen of Brindavan. And I worship Giridhari because I know he is the lord of her life. Wow. This loyalty fills Sri Raghunath's heart. When this revelation disappears, Raghunath does cries pitifully, falling on the bank of Radha Kund. Then he suddenly hears the jingling of ankle bells, which soothes his pain somehow. He sees Srimati Rupa Manjari before him. Seeing her, he remembers Swamini. Since she is the Manjari, the bud of Swamini's Rupa form. Beautiful form, not yet blossoming. A bumblebee will not sit on an unripe flower. Wow. Radhe. Ja. So we can see here when one revelation disappears and uh, Raghunath's pitifully crying, <laughs> what's happening? Mm. The next he is hearing the jingling of ankle bass of his Guru Manjari. Wow. Jingling ankle bass, we, we all mm. know, are coming from Radhika's walking, dancing, approaching to the place. 
But we can see here how important it is for Sadaka and for Shishya to hear the jingling bells of his Guru Manjari. Because this is the sign that Guru Manjari will appear very, very soon in front of him. And at the same time, this is the sign that he will see his own Manjari Swarup. So yeah. devotee in Sadaka Vesh is also eager to hear this jingling of ankle bass of his Guru Manjari. And we who are listening this beautiful subjects, we have opportunity also to listen these jingling bells in the form of Rupa's words, in the form of Raghunath's words or Tulsi words. Because these words are jingling to wake up us. Mm -hmm. This sound will wake up us and increase eagerness even more. So, and to prepare the heart to receive this darshan. Because Raghunath heard jingling of ankle bells of Rupa. And he was, this is another revelation in the form of sound. And then the form appears of Rupa, who is not different from Radhika, only in the age, he is the younger. So now, conversation between Guru Manjari and perfect Shishya is starting. It was my brother. Beautiful. And more. Please, please, Gopinath, read. Yes. Now the peak is coming. Peak is coming, yes. Rupa sweetly asks Tulsi, Kya ho hai? What's happening? These customs have nothing to do with worldly customs. How sweetly she says, Oh, see, Tulsi. I have come in his spiritual absorption. Raghunath gets up and says, O oh, Saki Rupa Manjari, I cannot tolerate the burning separation from Swamini anymore. Will I not attain her service at all? Rupa Manjari says, What service will you render? Tulsi, I want to come along with you to bring Swamini into the Kunja on the bank of Shirada Kund. Oh, see, Tulsi, I've come. In a spiritual absorption, Raghunath gets up and says, Oh, Saki Rupa Manjari, I cannot toler tolerate the burning separation from Swamini anymore. Will I not attain her service at all? Rupa says, what service will you render? 
Tulsi, I want to come along with you to bring Swamini into that kunja on the bank of Shirada Kund, which is decorated by Hari. So this is the answer of Udawa's question. <laughs> Do we need my Guru when Sadaka attains Siddhi? And Gurudev's answer, then we really need the Guru. Because who will teach us all these details? Who will ask us what you want? Who will invite us to come along? Yeah. <laughs> so this beautiful, sweet conversation is ocean of conversations actually between Rupa and Tulsi. And Tulsi, Manjari is saying, I am suffering practically. I cannot tolerate any more the pain of separation from my Swamini. He is, this is the proof that he is speaking from Swarup. Because he is addressing Rupa, Rupa, Manjari. Mm. My dear Guru Manjari, I, such and such Manjari, cannot tolerate anymore the pain of separation. And yes, yes, what do you want? How can I help you? Please bring me to the radicals. I want to do my seva. Together with you, together with you, I don't want to be without you. So this is the subject, actually, we are talking about reading, but this is a subject for inspiration for bhajan, for meditation. And in, by the kripa, devotees can enter deeper and deeper and deeper in these different revelations. This is loving relationship between Guru Manjari and Nava Manjari, New Manjari, and Old Manjari also. Right. We are seeing here that Tulsi Mantari is totally qualified to do all services. Rupa Mantari is not asking what service you can do, she is asking what service you like to do. And she is qualified to do any service. What is her answer, Bona Chandra? Here is her answer is as you said, she can actually do everything, but her answer is I want to follow you. I, I want to follow Guru Manjari in the service. This is again a beautiful example. Raghunath Goswami Tulsi Manjari is teaching here that we become the shadow of the shadow. I don't want to be independent in my service, no one. Yeah. And this one's always to be scholar. Always to be scholar. When I say, now I feel that I'm a guru, I'm not a scholar anymore. So, yeah, in this level. Yeah. Yeah. And this one is scholarly. Always we need to follow. Yeah. yeah. Without becoming a student, you cannot follow. Without student, you cannot follow. Master, when I think that moment, I am a master. 
We see also that the relation between Rupa and Tulasi also stay eternally fixed. They also never go out of that. Rupa Manjari asking, what service you like to do? The answer could be, oh, I like to do this and this and this and this. But the answer is, whatever service you give me, I want to do. I want to follow you. I don't want to decide what I... Please give me service. So that relationship is also always fixed. I am serving my Guru Manjari. Wherever you go, I go. Whatever service you give me, I will do that. I don't do service independently. Shyam, being eager to meet Swamini, sends a girl messenger in the form of his flute playing Murali Dutti. And when Prema Mai Radhika hears that sound, she becomes impatient and forgets all other considerations. Matahi Tapana Tapata pata baluta, atapa dhana vitara, nonika putali tanu, charana kamala janu, dinahi koyolo abishara. Hari hari premaka gati aniva, kanu parashara she, parva shara savati. Vichurala Shakala Vicha Guru Jana Nayana Kashagana Barana Maruta Mandala Dhuli Toshane Meli Chalali Vara Rangini Patige Hanitai Bhuli Yoto Yoto Vighini Jitali Anuragini Sadhali Manasija Mantra Govinda Dasa Koyo Abha Samojao Harishane Rasamaya Tantra The sun shines on her head and scorches the sand on the road, spreading itself in the sky like a burning canopy. As she goes at to meet Mohan at noontime. Her body is as soft as butter and her feet are as tender as lotus flowers. Hari Hari, the course of love cannot be stopped. This amorous girl gives up all considerations desiring to be touched by Mohan. The most excellent playful Rai is shielded from the noose like looks of her suspicious elders by a whirlwind that throws up a lot of dust. In this way she went, forgetting all about her home and her husband. O oh, passionate Rai, you have conquered over all obstacles after mastering all of Cupid's mantras. Govinda Dasa says, may Hari now teach you the tantras of Rasa.
O passionate Rai, you have conquered over all obstacles after mastering all of Cupid's mantras. May Hari now teach you the tantras of rasa. What is the meaning here? You have conquered over all obstacles after mastering all of Cupid's mantras. Something to meditate. Yeah, this is Anurag, which Radhika, like a strong river, she has in her heart and in all her appearance. This Anurag to give the pleasure to be loved helps her to overcome all obstacles. <clears throat> and this kind of anurag is actually this mastering of cupid mantras because she is floating on her own strong intense burning desire to satisfy, to give the pleasure to her beloved. So, devotee who is singing this song, he is saying actually, as I understand, you are embodiment of Kama Gayatri. You are embodiment. And you are the master of all Cupid's mantras. And your lover is following you. He is dancing according to your desire. Then the poet is saying, because you are mastering, you already mastered Cupid's mantra. You, you are perfect in this. Now he will, your lover, will teach you also different tantras of rasa. He will also try to give you the lessons about amorous, sweet amorous techniques, views of exchange of love. Different ways of exchange of love. Way of looking different ways of embracing, different ways of kissing, hugging each other, and so on and so on. So this is the exchange in most intimate moments. This came to me, I just... So beautiful. Study. And only Manjari can say this, no? That you have mastered all of Cupid's mantras. Now let her teach you the Tantra of Rasa. Only mantras. She knows the intimate desire of both. And Manjari witness this <laughs> expertise of both. So she is, she is glorifying, praising in that way the boats and their love. 
as you said, for an embodiment of Tom Gaitri. Very beautiful to meditate on. Thank you. I don't know, Guru Dev is somehow helping this fallen soul. Causeless mercy. Jai Guru. Ranga my Swamini floats on the waves of calm, holding your Rupa Manjari's arm, while I, Tulsi, walk anxiously behind her. Swamini is floating on the waves of Kama, holding Rupa's arm, while I, Tulsi, walk anxiously behind her, watching her stumbling gait, afraid that she will trip or fall out of eagerness to meet Mohan, and ready to hold her then. When Swamini sees a blackish tamal tree on the way, she mistakes it for Mohan, and when she sees a golden wine entwining this tree, she mistakes it for a rival gopi embracing him. You will help her out of her illusion, while I will help Swamini meet with Sham in a kunja house, which he adorns with his own bodily luster. You will help her out of her illusion, Gurudev. One manjur is telling the other, Guru Ma Swamini floats on the waves of Kama, holding your Rupa Manjari's arm, while I, Tulsi, walk anxiously behind her, watching her stumbling gait, afraid that she will trip or fall out of eagerness to meet Mohan and ready to hold her then. When Swamini sees a blackish Kamal tree on the way, she mistakes it for Mohan. And when she sees a golden wine entwining this tree, she mistakes it for a rival gopi embracing him. You will help her out of her illusion, while I will help Swamini meet with Sham in a kunja house, which he adorns with his own bodily luster. Both Manjuris are talking, Gurudev. Who will do what, how to serve, how to arrange. The words Kam Taranga Rangam apply here to billowing waves of Madan Ras, the pinnacle of Prema, and not to materialists. The tantras say, Prema eva gopa ramanam kama iti agamat pratam. The pure love of the gopis is known as lust because the external activity appears to be the same. Nevertheless, there is complete absence here of desire for personal sense enjoyment. That's a deep paradoxical secret. Sahaja Gopira Prema Nohe Prakrita Kama Kama Krida Samya Tore Koho Kama Nama Chitani Charitamrita. In this world, it is also noticeable that some activities appear the same externally 
but have different targets. For example, two persons may be picking flowers in a garden. One of them is doing it to gratify his own nose and the other is doing it to worship the Lord. The first person finds himself to this illusory world by striving for sense gratification, while the other unfolds prema by working within the realm of Lord's Swarup Shakti, named Bhagavad Bhakti. That is Tantra. That is Tantra and Tantra. Beautifully explained by Baba. Can you say more than that for this? Very deep subject, and without like it, it's got to understand, they've got to explain. Very nice. Thank you, Radha Radha. Radha Shri. Meditate Goranga Sundari says. It's a very, very deep subject. Mantra and Tantra. What? Gyananda Maharaj is there. Good day. Good day. Uh, <laughs> this subject, uh, I don't see you in picture. Jai Jananda Maharaj. Yes, we have to go deep in this, uh, in this subject, and next week we meditate in this very deep. It was a hint. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> All they share in this. What is that? Jananda ji, can you give us a hint? <laughs> Please. So, I don't know, but uh, Goranga Sundara, our Goranga Sundara is give very nice explanation. <clears throat> Laga and the meaning of Karma Gayatri. I was also meditating at first. So Radharani is like, uh, uh, she say, uh, uh, Radharani has conquered over the all obstacles after mastering all of Cupid mantras. So Radharani already no, actually, naturally, without learning, she master everything. Therefore, she called the Karabati. She knows all arts. And uh, <clears throat> at first, she was conquering Mohan by the sweet uh, arrow of Cupid, arrow of love. And then also Mohan is reciprocated. And uh, I was just meditating, Karma Gaitri is just both way. Radha, Radharani's meaning and also Mohan's meaning. And also Gurudev was saying Manjari was half, 24 and half. So Manjari also watching. This is Goranga Sundaraji is explained very, very nicely. And uh, this mantra, tantra also, this kind of uh, kind of explanation for Goranga Sundaraji, it could be help 
more go into deep. Just I want to say like this. Rade, rade. But I just want to add that actually this is not possible to properly meditate if we don't understand the difference between kama, lust, material mm. lust, and prema. Wow. Only in the sense of understanding that kama, which is present in radhika, is prema. Then we can start to go deeper and deeper. I will try to do it by own. And this difference between materialistic kama and prema is so important because it can be relished only in spiritual identity. Wow. 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 This Otherwise, is a problem. It will take a theory. And the point is not theory. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we need the Guru, Guru Dev's mercy, Guru yeah. Manjari's. People, subject comes. Tantra is also tantric art doing the practice of Tantra. Sammohan, Basikaran, Uchatan, everything is in Tantra. Mm. Seven, eight things, I don't remember. But these all come in Tantra and mantra. After Siddhi of mantra, then we use the tantra. <laughs> yes, see that. That same thing, what the augury and tantric they use these words. This come here. Augari Vidya is start under the navel. And Vaishnava Vidya start above the up, upside of the navel. Radhe Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe.